Task Force X, report. <laughs> Have you secured Ivy? Yeah, kind of a funny story. Good. Colonel Flag is en route. I need a nap. And to find mean old Lex and suffocate him in a seed pod. Uh, hold that thought, kid. Oh, I just want to smush those well green cheeks. Quinn! All right, look. We're all villains here. With you so far. But injecting a little girl with a brain bomb, that seemed like a lot to anyone else. And not any little girl, my little girl. Oh, well, that came out weird. She is no mere child, but she should grow free. Flag's on the way. It's not like we can let her do a runner. Nah, that's exactly what it's like. I would not wish servitude to wallow on my worst enemies. Me neither, mate. But we get less servitude if we grab Ivy. Then it's decided. We're low, but we're not that low. Hey! Hey! Uh, 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 okay, time to die. I'm tired of being around humans. And Daphne's hungry. Oh, I did it, okay? I put the bloody bomb in her head ages ago. What? What? Oh, I thought you'd thank me. I didn't trust her. She's a ranger. Red, I'll make this up to you. We've been through worse together. Like knowing my ex. I feel like this is a really dark story element. That they put a bomb in a child's head. Yeah. That is really dark. By the way, how can anyone root for Amanda Waller if she would be willing to blow up a child's brain? I mean, like, I know Ivy used to be an adult, but she's not now. Yeah. And this person has no memory of what she was or did before. Hey, bombs of this season's shot collar. And they're discreet. You don't have to coordinate around them or nothing. At ease, Harkness. Hey, kid, want to meet a penguin man? Get you a greenhouse all to yourself? I don't like penguins. You know what? I get it. You're tired and cranky. Honestly, these four make me feel the same way. Come on, let's get you out of here. Okay. Colonel Flag is surprisingly good with children. Huh. And I thought Zoe was scary. Flag seems to be really good around kids. Wow. Hey, I got a trophy. Do you notice that they... Oh, oh, Whoa, geez. geez. What happened over there? Uh, I spilled a little bit of my pop. Oh. Uh, my phone fell. Should we get a napkins or something? I just want to point out I was the winner there. I know Thank you didn't see it. Out. I know you didn't see it because uh, you spilled my pop so that you wouldn't see it. Yeah, so like Nate saw that I was the winner. He saw I was popping up as number one. He was like, oh, whoops! And oh, he man, my I'm soda sorry about that. <laughs> so that we wouldn't be able to see how I beat him. Right. Star Durst? Frank Durst? <laughs> uh, were you leaving? No. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? I was gonna help you clean that up if you need help. I don't need your help. Oh, okay, I guess you're too good for me. I don't want your help. Are you like better than Get me? Get your help away from me. You're the one who knocked it over just so I stand this see that I won. I just can't believe you're that petty. I'm just really into Suicide Squad and who wins the levels. You know, before this, I thought the Suicide Squad was just those people who tried to leak the Clinton tapes. Right. <laughs> Uh, look at how I'm standing. I have the exaggerated swagger of a black team. <laughs> Did I get an award? Oh, is it oh. yellow? Come on. Mine's blue. Is that a problem? Yeah, yours was yellow. You're offending all the Smurfs everywhere. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
No, I got a blue one. I know there's a lot of those everywhere. Little garden body. Cause surprise, surprise. I just discovered Lex Luthor suit uses Brainiac tech. I'm gonna use that to find him. Meet me in Park Ridge. With claws beneath and she a head, a cold, cold box for Gotham's swimming dead. With claws be beneath here. and sea ahead, a gold box for... Oh, wait, okay. Claws Change. beneath and sea ahead. So it'll be towards the water, right? You would think so. But with this, it's like random stuff. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Claws beneath? Is this a claw? I don't know. Can we go look on the... On the, um... Shore? Yeah. First cobble pot, now ivy. <laughs> We're really bringing back that Gotham crazy. Ah, ah that Gotham crazy. Is this, is this a tear in the fabric of reality? Damn it, Sharks do I gotta hold everything to together? They're naturally funny animal, do they? I think this is awesome, but I feel like all of these things make Batman less scary. Yeah. Do you too? I do too, yeah. It kind of reminds me of in Batman Beyond, they have a play. And it's about the original Batman the Animated Series. That's kind of cool, actually. I like yeah, that. It's fun. And Terry actually pays to bring Bruce to it. And he's like... Oh. And he basically saved up to get these tickets. And Bruce is like, this is stupid. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> hey, look at these, by the way. There's cutouts of all these. And it looks like the Silver Age versions of them. That's Isn't this cool. awesome? Yeah. So we got Wonder Woman. And she's got a little bit of a bulge there. So I'm wondering what's going on. They just she's, she's not telling us. More of a bulge than you. That's saying something. Uh, by the way, let's take these guys out and then go to the shore. Okay. I don't know why I want to take them out. It's just they were right here and I felt like it. That makes sense. I don't know. I feel like the shooting in this is really satisfying. I loved. <laughs> you ran away? Yeah, I ran away. I thought I had to kill the guy I wanted to kill. Okay. Oh, you literally just wanted to kill that one person. I wanted person. to kill that big guy. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I thought even you wanted to actually kill people. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. This is... I can't tell... To welcome those from far and wide, this sign spells out our civic pride. Wouldn't this be like a huge metropolis sign? You'd think so. Um... Also, in this game, I'm, I know I'm going back and forth between, uh, I know I'm going back and forth between subjects here, but I truly feel like in this game, the riddles are not as good. They're not as good at all. And there's no clue of where <clears throat> they are at all. It'll just be like, you'll have this whole thing, and it'll be like, I saw the sky under a guy, he went to fly and ate a pie. What am I? And then it'll be like some <laughs> random toothpick on the ground over right. right there. And I, I, I'm like, this is nothing like it was in the Arkham games. I yeah, feel like you, you could actually figure it out in the Arkham games. Yeah, I feel like in this game, I have no idea where or what these things are. Yeah. Can we get back in here? Oh, wait, wait. Subject too small? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's maybe this giant metropolis thing. Where are you? Wait, uh, that, to your left. To your left. Oh, wait, now someone's shooting at me. Oh, okay. See, I didn't see this. Okay. Well, that's why you didn't figure it out, Jay, because you're fucking blind. Jeez, are you making fun of blind people? I'm not I making fun of blind people, I'm making fun of the visually of impaired. Got it, makes sense. We almost Partially complete. I mean, Subject too small? To Partially complete. Oh. How is this too small? What do I have to be, like, right on the B? There we go, I got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah. And you got a trophy? Saw five of his riddles. Oh, okay. It's because I'm better than you. I oh, like, I got it, I got I it. I understand Edward Nigma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't get that trophy. I don't know how I get that. Because I think I solved an extra riddle beyond you because I played part of the game before you. Do you think you're better than me? That is not a thought process, it's just true. Got it. But yes. Okay, um... I have no shield at all, and I'm about to die. Same, same here. And of course, I am not good at harvesting shields because I don't get the concept. You shoot them in the leg, and then you get close and you melee them. 
Yeah, you say that to me and it sounds easy, but like it doesn't work. Nothing. So you shoot them. Look, this guy's on fire. See how he's on fire? Now I can shield harvest him. They have okay. to be on fire. Does that make sense? And then you melee them when and then they're you on get, fire. Yeah, when they're on blue fire, you get close to them and you press R2 oh. without aiming. I did it. I did it. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. <laughs> also, great shot, kid. Don't get penisy. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite lines from the Family Guy thing. Do you wish that they would make a Family Guy, I would say... Prequels? Yes! Yes! yes the prequels! And sequels! Oh man, they got a lot to make fun of there. Well, I, I still want it. <laughs> they got a lot of material for I that. really want that. Let's get this Riddler trophy real quick. I actually, I'm gonna be honest, going around finding the, the Riddler air. trophies, I've always really liked it. In I don't, ev everybody hates it. Everybody hates it. They're like, too much Riddler, why the hell is this guy here? Get him out of here, way too much. I've always thought it was really fun. I, I really, think it is really fun. I really liked solving things Flipped and figuring out where to go. I mean, anybody, this is not to be an asshole, but like anybody can get the basic combat down of Arkham. You yeah, might not right. be the best. Carl probably doesn't want to talk about her only real friend, who she thought was dead, coming back as a kid, who barely recognizes her. Actually. Boomer, this is a teachable moment. Okay. I was gonna say, you're right. I don't want to talk about it. Life's full of painful surprises, like thumbtacks and a lollipop, you know? What, what, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, we're talking about how much you love Riddler trophies. What's this? Wait, oh, that's the next mission. I wanted to get that Riddler trophy. Do you or do you want... Well, let's do the mission first, I guess. Should we? Yeah, we can do We're that. We're literally right here. Let's what, do it. What is this one? Spyware and warfare. Hack's found one. Well, okay. Hack has found a trick to tracking Lex Luthor, but she needs our help to get it working. And I need speech therapy. Like <laughs> Suppression troopers? What are these like liberal troopers where it's like, it's actually visually impaired? <laughs> and they like go after your speech. <laughs> That's what it is, yes. You didn't say that me, Lovato! Get yeah, out of here! <laughs> Luther figured out a way into Brainiac's communication network. Even stole Kolo and code to use in his big boy battle suit. We are going to hijack the last network terminal Luther accessed and get that code. Then we'll find him. Hack stealing Brainiac's Wi-Fi is going to bring trouble. Ready up, squad. <laughs> I didn't even notice you were dancing. <laughs> Cannot scan riddles during this mission. So what were you scanning? Something over there? Uh, apparently. Oh, why can't you scan riddles during this mission? Hey, is this like Lacey Tower? Lacey's department store? What if it is? There's no what if. I was just asking. Oh, okay. That's... I thought it'd be a little tricky there. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, we have suppression troops over here. I'm fighting the suppression troopers here. I accidentally made a comment about how I thought... Joe Biden might be getting a little old, and I was called ageist. That's true. But for uh, Donald Trump, you're definitely <laughs> a not ageist at all, but we're going to make fun of his age. <laughs> I will say, I find it really funny how everybody's so, uh, like, I don't know. Do you feel like people are always this way? No. No, no you don't. All. You don't feel like people always would cherry pick and ignore their guy or their thing? No, I, 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 point I definitely out the other one. I definitely do. You, you think they were always that way? Yeah, I think that's always been a thing. Even, like, 50 years ago? Yes. But don't, Not as bad, I that's, will say. That's what I'm wondering, because to me, it feels like everything now has to be extreme. Like, yeah. even with this game, I'm, I'm just talking here, but even with this game, I've noticed... When I say, hey, here's something I actually think is really cool about this game. The people who hate it will be like, you son of a bitch, did you murder Kevin Conroy? <laughs> and it's like, no, what? Like, what are you talking about? They'll be like, this game is so disrespectful to him. And by even saying you like the way that Harley's face looks, it's disrespecting him. I know. And it's like, what? I need to be revived. What the hell are you talking about? But then meanwhile, if I say, uh, I really don't like the way they did the story of this. I, I think it could have been better. It's like... Well, you just want Harley to have her old outfit back because you want to jerk it to her. Right. It's like, no, it's just because it was part of her character and I thought she looked cool. I thought that was part of the story of her. No! Well, everyone wants to be on a team. But, like, you're not That's on a team. Thing. No one cares about you. But everyone wants to be a team for 
everything. It's so it dumb. Could be the most, it could be the most pointless thing you've ever done in your life, and people want to be on a team for it. Like, it's important for them to, like, take sides. I just don't get it. And I'm like, I, do, I don't understand what the point of that is. Oh, you. I harvested yeah, a shield. Yeah, you're getting shield harvesting. You're understanding. So I think I'm, like, kind of getting it. They just have to be blue. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I just don't get it. Because to me, I've never cared as much about... You know, there are some things, yes. But for everything, like, it's, it's like we're playing a video game. It reminds me of the console wars. Remember how yes. remember how you would um, have me over and we would play on your Wii U? And I'd always be like, I love the Wii U. This thing's fun. But then other people, I remember when we would talk about the Wii U, would be like, ugh, the Wii U? What is that? That sounds stupid. Yeah. Right. Or they'd be like, oh, that's a dumb system. Why don't you play on the 360? Yeah, it's like, what's the point of this? Like, uh, and it's like, why not both? Why yeah. can't you just enjoy stuff? Yeah. I guess I just don't understand. Or also, even if you don't enjoy the Wii U, why can't other people enjoy the Wii U? Right, why do you have to go out of your way to make it a problem? I mean, it's okay to share your opinion. Sure. You know, like, I think that's fine, but I think when it, when your whole opinion is like, here, now, I'm going to make this not fun for you, that's where I'm like, why? Yeah. And that's that's my problem with, um, with a lot of stuff now, is everything seems not designed to share your opinion but designed to like try and upset other people and be like your opinion's wrong and you're dumb i think it's very rare when i make a video from that perspective i mean it happens there are certain things that i think people are dumb for believing genuinely yeah right. um, but there's not that many of them a lot of the a lot of things are just like here's my preference here's why i believe this your preferences here's an actual opinion i have and that's it and then people will literally take it, and they'll be like... Kill well, yourself! Yeah, basically, yeah. Oh, I heard that you like this one thing about Suicide Squad. Why are you defending this trash game? It's like, bro, I have three videos criticizing parts of this game that I don't like. And one and a half videos saying things I like. Right. Like, what the hell are you talking about? That's genuinely something I saw. Or even when I was talking about Kevin Conroy, who genuinely, I guarantee, not to, like, gatekeep Kevin Conroy here, gatekeep. but I guarantee that, like, some of the people bitching about him don't care about him as much as I do. I guarantee it. Right. Because, like, I grew up watching these shows. I loved it. You know, when I didn't have friends, Batman and Spider-Man were my friends. I know right. it sounds pathetic, but genuinely, it, like, it was a huge deal to me. These things really mattered to me. So when people are telling me, like, Oh, well, you don't care about this. You don't really understand why we feel this way. It's like, no, I do. My point is just don't weaponize this guy dying. That's it. Yeah. It's not you can't care. And it's not that this is better than Arkham. It is not. And it's that Kevin Conroy is yours to care about. No, <laughs> it's that genuinely he was a good person who always wanted people to get along. He wanted things to be fun for people. You know, he didn't. He's not the kind of person who would want, would want people turning him into a martyr to, like, fight on his behalf. Right. He's just not. So when I see people doing that, I just think it's gross. I just think it's kind of disgusting. And so then when everybody's doing that, it's kind of frustrating to me. And I just say, hey, that's frustrating to me. And people are like, oh, so you didn't really care about him. <laughs> it's like, no, I, I never met him. Yeah. Like, just like everybody else, like, even if you did, you weren't, like, best friends with him. It's just that I really love his work, and he's an awesome guy, and I think he's really cool, and he did amazing work. accident! An oopsie! You froze some of my men solid. The invaders can freeze and burn and electrocute and all sorts of things. Don't you want that power, too? Hmm? Huh? Bring me those soldiers, and I can keep working on it. And save them. If I have to. For the Pazun decontamination, I'm heading out. TFX rendezvous on site. Rendezvous? Oh, I'm a sucker for fancy talk. Okay, I'm gonna go change my uh, loadout here. Hey, check your contracts, because I can collect a reward. How do I look at contracts? L1... Oh, Twice. Looks like you got one. Is this yeah. one? Maybe. Yeah, uh, no. You have to do those things. Kill 20 electrified enemies? How do you electrify you. enemies? I don't actually know. But I do know that I just got something. Guerrilla Warfare. Uh, 80 Brainiac Grunts. You can, can do, do this, no problem. Okay. Um, now, you wanted to change your gear. 
And I too want to change my gear. The insurgents have developed their own rudimentary phasing tech. Those four and whoever they're working with are attempting to organize a resistance. It'll fall apart. On our world, these criminal collaborations always do. Uh, he was talking about how the like we've designed some sort of phasing deck and how uh, every time criminals team up on his world, like they fail, so he thinks we'll fail too. Oh, that's okay. It. Should I play as classic Deadshot? No. Why? No. You don't like this outfit? No, not at all. Really? You don't like classic Deadshot? I think classic Deadshot's fun. I just think that classic Boomerang looked like an idiot. Yeah, that's true. What do we got here? Task Force X and then Fugitive, of course. All right. Well, maybe I'll just stick with the Justice League outfit for a bit Let's so I don't get yelled at. Who is this person? Layla Carter? Uh, I don't know. This looks like a moron. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say man. No. Oh, because I thought they looked like a man. <clears throat> well, you're not supposed to say that. Okay, I have I have a hot take, by the way. Okay. Here's here's my hot take about Western video games. And I mean, like, things like this where it's, you know, designed by Americans. So, have you noticed that... I know you're listening, criminals. I investigated debris from your vehicular weapons. Second-rate mechanical work. Gizmo's work. You four really have been sent to your deaths. You know that, don't you? Okay. I like how Batman's out there taunting you. By the way, have you ever seen Batman on a rooftop yet? No, is he in the game? Yeah, he he follows you around sometimes. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I haven't seen it. That's right. And if you need me to stick a bomb in him, just say the word. Have, have you? I looked around the no. whole place. Keep an eye out for him. I am looking. Is that him? Is it like obvious or are we looking like... This is Lois Lane broadcasting you know what I mean? Lane. It's not obvious, Lois but he will be like up above you watching. Kind of like Azrael. Yes, and if you shoot okay. at him, he will phase away. Okay. Like he'll fly away real quick. That's kind of cool, though. I haven't seen him yet, but I've seen him in other people's games. Should we go and do a Riddler trophy? Yeah, I actually marked one with the blue thing. Okay. So. Because I want to get in that trophy. Have you seen the face scan? This is a hot button topic, all right? It's, it's, let me just say that. Okay. Have you seen the face scan of Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2? Like, what the actual actress looks like? Yeah. Versus what she looks like in the game? Yeah. Do you know how she doesn't really look fully like her? Yeah. Like she kind of right. does, but she kind of doesn't, and a lot of people, including me, kind of thought she looked sort of bad. Yeah. So... She looks better than in one. I, I, I still maintain that opinion for me. I know you think that. I I think she might have looked better in the first one, but that's just me. Um, But I wanted to say that... Have you noticed how this is a problem in a lot of Western games? Like, this game did a very good job on it, by the way. If you actually look at the face models... They did a really good job of getting them uh, to you this, look like Last the actual actors. Is, yeah. And you're not gonna like but it. I noticed that in a lot of... What goes up? Okay, this is not... Within a lot of Western games, face scans are done really poorly. Like, they don't look like the character, really. The ones I can think of where they really look like them are the Jedi Survivor Lair Fallen Order games mm -hmm. and this. But a lot of them, they don't. But And I've seen people say, oh, well, it's because, you know, as technology advances, it's harder and harder to do because you have to try and make these characters look realistic, but you can't do that because then you have to match these animations to this. And, you know, there's always an answer to it. But the Japanese can do it. That's what I'm wondering is what's the deal with that? Also, do you want to do this uh, gizmo mission really quick to upgrade our vehicles? Sure. Oh, wait, no. Mission cannot be played again unless it's adjusted by our player. Well, I guess we should just go to this, then. Within their lair, the thousands plot too many X's mark the spot. Yeah. Taking it vertical! Do what you... is the thousands? I don't know what the thousands are. Oh. What? At both ends, their candles burning bright. Mine's burning these halls are learning. Hey, is this Stag Industries? Look down here. Stag. Oh, might be. Remember Simon Stag? Yeah, that's cool. 
Should we just continue the story? Wait, here Simon says he runs the show. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. That was a trophy. It was... Look at this. This is Simon Stagg. Hey, I got it. Brain's just another muscle, and I'm flexing on you. I expected more from her. Oh, it was that thing? It's this right here. Oh, because I, I found the Simon Stagg building, and it wasn't that. It's the one by me. For some reason, the Simon Stagg building you scanned is not it, but this smaller Simon Stagg sign is it. Okay. Who designed these? I don't know. I, I don't know. And you have to zoom in. It doesn't work as well as it did in Arkham either. How do you zoom in? I use the sniper rifle. Gonna clean up Boomerang Park. So I guess I'm not sure. You okay, might... there we go. Oh, now I got a trophy. Solve five of Riddler's oh, riddles. Target? I don't believe it. All right, let's go to the main mission. Okay. Um, how do I remove my marker? Uh, oh, you're about to get blown up. I am? Yeah. Oh! I don't know how to remove my... Oh, yeah, right, you have to select it manually. I have to look at the time, because I have to get Jill uh, to get ready for work soon. Okay, where's our mission? Task Force X. The No Parole Patrol. The Killer Elite. Team Waller. Sharky, we need to talk. Task Force X it is. Find the Argus soldiers that Ivy afflicted and assist Colonel Flag with their evac. Hey, Shark, you enjoying yourself? Damn, I have mixed them. There's getting iced, and then there's getting iced. I guess I'm the only person left in this city who does subtle. Can I shoot the guy? Oh, no. No one me? Can I murder the hostage? <laughs> what are you, an American? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Poison Ivy Jr., a biochem lab in our base. I hate that she's using our men for lab rats, and I really hate relying on you for rescue missions. You harbor a lot of hatred, Colonel Flag. Yes, I do, Shark. Let's go, go, go. Beginning scan. Remember, squad, fight aliens, rescue people. Dude, right in the battle bus from Fortnite. Epic! <laughs> Ninja? Oh, the V-Bucks? Look, uh, does it actually stand for victory points? Uh, it stands for vasectomy bucks. Got it. Hey, can you help me destroy these choppers? I, I, I am dying by these stupid choppers. Wait, you need me to destroy the choppers? Well, there's two choppers that were just annihilating me and I died. Sorry, I was harvesting a lot of shields over here. That makes sense. Captain Boomerang is standing right next to me and will not pick me up. Did you request a pickup? Yes. I don't want to lose the hostage. Request revive. Captain Boomerang is here. I I will get you in a minute, but we were going to lose this hostage. Okay. Are you still down? Yeah. Alright. Uh, come on. Why do my Captain Boomerang won't help me? I'm coming. And I'm gonna get you. Nice. Thanks. No worries, there you go. Okay. Take your shot after it fires its energy weapon. Hey, have you so I wanted to get back to my, my face scan thing. Okay. Did you know Hideo Kojima has been scanning faces into games very well since Metal Gear Solid 4? On the PS3, yeah, there are supermodels, like actual supermodels that he put in the games, in the game as some of the villains. You mean players, people can also be hot in games? That was what I'm getting to with this. Do you, honestly, and I, I mean it seriously, do you feel like there is a movement in Western media to tone down sexiness of women? Yes, I do. Of women specifically. Because men can be hot in games. I absolutely think this. And to be honest, I don't really know why. I think it's people who are upset with the fact that they're fat. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to this one C, I think it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm being serious! Because men almost have always just been like, yeah, I'm kind of a chonker. Right. Sorry. <laughs> like, they're, they're just like... We just accept it. Right, or we get in better shape. Yeah, right. But like, I've noticed that with women, and I know, oh, this is sexist, whatever, fine. Maybe it is. But I have genuinely noticed that with a lot of women, Instead of being like, hey, that girl looks really hot. Maybe I want to look like that and I'll feel better. Or maybe I don't care and I'm happy with who I am. Either yeah. one. Either one is acceptable. You don't have to change. That's up to you. Right. But instead of making that decision, 
I've noticed that the people running media, both male feminists and women, are always like, well, maybe we should change that because it makes people feel uncomfortable. It's like, bro, what if I'm uncomfortable that I see Chris Hemsworth's like chiseled pecs every two seconds in Thor? Right. I'm, yeah, not. I'm not, but what if I was? You wouldn't change that for me. You'd just say, okay, fatty, get in better shape. Right. Tub Lord. Tub Lord. <laughs> like, but if I say that to a woman, it's like, oh, well, you're a piece of shit. Like, and it, it's, it's literally the same thing as like, it's literally the the joke. I don't remember what comedian made it. It might. Have, I don't think it was Shane Gillis, but it was somebody in that realm. Was it uh, Bill Burr? No. Okay. I don't think so. But Bill Burr is fucking savage, and he would certainly make this joke. Um, I don't remember who made the joke, but it was basically like, you know, everybody's fine with calling Lizzo beautiful until you tell another woman she looks like Lizzo. Right. Have you noticed that too? Yes. 